welcome everyone in our english grammar series today we are going to do prepositions a preposition is a word that indicates the relationship between a noun and other words of a sentence they explain relationships of sequence space and logic between the object of the sen sentence and the rest of the sentence they help us understand order time connections and positions there are a few interesting linguistic facts about prepositions first they are a closed class of words which means no new prepositions gets added to the language we use a fixed set of prepositions second prepositions do not have any other form they cannot be plural possessive inflection or anything else third most of the prepositions have many different contextual and natural uses so it is easy to be confused about prepositions fourth sometimes a preposition works as nouns adjectives and adverbs prepositions can be of one two three or even more words prepositions with two or more words are called phrasal prepositions let us now move on to types of prepositions most of the prepositions have many uses there are some prepositions which are common in every type of preposition as they function in a versatile way the first one is preposition of time then prepositions of place and direction then prepositions of agents or things and the last one is phrasal prepositions the first one is prepositions of time let us discuss this prepositions of time show the relationship of time between the nouns to the other parts of a sentence example on at in from to for since ago before till until etc examples he started working at 10 am at is preposition here the company called meeting on 25th december there is a holiday in december second one is prepositions of place and direction it shows the relationship of place between the nouns to the other parts of a sentence example on at in by from to towards up down across between among through in front of etc let us see the examples he is at home at is preposition here he came from england from is preposition here i live across the river across is preposition here third one is prepositions of agents or things prepositions of agents or things indicate a casual relationship between nouns and other parts of sentence example of for by with about etc are some of the prepositions now let us let us see the examples i will always be here for you he is playing with his brothers next one is phrasal prepositions a phrasal preposition is not a prepositional phrase but they are a combination of two or more words which function as a preposition let us see the examples now along with apart from because of by means of according to in front of in spite of on account of in reference to in addition to etc are some of the examples now let us use them in sentence in spite of being a good player he was not selected i am late because of few so with this we finish prepositions thank you for watching do subscribe have a great day